People, giving you the scope of the day. If your day's going good, hit your hearts. If your day's going good, hit your hearts. Um, I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta go to another meeting. I thought about something. Um, it's December and um, the new year is about to uh, begin. So quite naturally, before we, hey, Faith, Roderick, um, before we kind of start this new year off, we really need to deal with our present situation. Um, or well, some people say your current situation. Are you finishing strong? What do you got to accomplish? I'm curious, you all that's listening, what, what, what do you need to finish um, before this year is out? What has to get taken place? What, what has to be done before the new year comes out? I'm going to be honest. I was talking to my good friend um, yesterday, I believe. And I told him, I said, realistically, or, or, to be real, man, life is good. First of all, great. Now to go more in depth. There's parts of my life, man, I am seeing God really blow my mind. Like he is giving me the desires of my heart. Like out of nowhere, doors are opening for this next year. 2016 is going to be crazy for me. On the flip side, at the same time I see doors opening, I see sunlight, I see direction and clarity. There's some things in my life or some, some portions, um, that are foggy than a mug. I mean, it's like, it's foggy. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't see it. I don't even see flash like moments. So I'm wondering, I'm curious to you all, man, what are you finishing strong? What, what has to get done? Um, or what are you working on? Um, or are you even, or, you know, did you, do you even think about finishing strong? Or are you like, you know, next year is, is about to happen? I'm about to get off. Um, but I just wanted to say that, that it's a part of me, I'm excited, and the other part of me is scared in the mud because I don't got clarity. <clears throat> so, just wanted to hit that to you all. Uh, I'm on Periscope. Yeah, how let people. Um, so, I see, yes, yes. So, hit your hearts if you're finishing strong. Hit your hearts if you're like me. Part is just, it's clear. You got You got clarity on some things. And there's some things you don't know what the heck is about to happen. Um, And I want to suggest and want to say, it's okay. Which hence faith. Which is the reason why we need it. So, it's okay to know and not know. Game plan 2016, execution. Indeed. Um, Indeed. I got some stuff, man, that's in the works. I really think that it's going to impact people in the city. One thing I'm going to do this year is I'm going to stop doing so much stuff that just make noise. And I want to do stuff that makes impact. That means if there's less stuff I need to do, that's cool. But the stuff I do touch my hands with, and I'm going to be very um, particular with it, I'm going to make sure my fingerprints is on it. So busyness don't necessarily mean you productive. You know, I be at my job busy, and sometimes I look up like I am not productive. I don't, I ain't got nothing done. It just feels like that. So, this is the season where we we need to make stuff count. We need to stop wasting time. And um, if you didn't know it, I'm making plans for 2016, and I'm already looking and saying my year's already done. Like 2016 is already done for me. It's a few dates open. I'm already in 2017. That's how quick things happen. So you might as well live right. 3806. You might as well live right because it's going to happen real fast. So, you know, just wanted to say finish strong because I pre- I know, Paul. Finish strong because, for instance, my Detroit Lions. Let me give you an example. My Detroit Lions ain't going to no playoff. They ain't even invited to no playoff at all. But... It is important how they finish these last games because the momentum of these games will carry you into 2016 season. Come on. So even though you ain't going to playoffs, even though there's some defeat, even though there's some things you've already locked off, 
man, these last games count big time because it's momentum for your next season. <laughs> next thing I want to say, and I'm out, seed and harvest time. There's some things, man, you are pumping into the next generation or the next season of your life. And you like, man, I can't wait. But then you also in a moment where you like, man, life is tough. May I suggest that it's always seed and harvest time. There's some things you did that you're just reaping the harvest for. Sorry. That's what it is. But keep pumping good seed because your harvest is coming. I love you all. I'm out. Just wanted to hit that good nugget real quick. I hope it blessed you. I'm about to eat because later on I got to go to the dentist. And, all right, I'm out. Peace.